Good morning, brothers and sisters, especially the faithful of St. Anthony Parish. Happy fifth Saturday of Lent, the final day before Holy Week. So tomorrow, Palm Sunday, we begin Holy Week. And it's important to think, like, it's called Holy Week for a reason, because it's really holy. These are the sacred moments of our Lord's life, his final moments when he gives himself most fully for the sake of our salvation. So it's a holy week. And we are called, beginning tomorrow, to remember in a very solemn and in a special way these sacred moments, these final moments in our Lord's life. But it's about much more than just remembering these moments, like Jesus did this 2,000 years ago. The beautiful thing about the Catholic faith, the grace of God that works by the power of the Holy Spirit in the church, is that our sacred, solemn celebrations are not just remembering something that went, you know, happened a long time ago. We relive these sacred moments with our Lord. You probably heard about this in relation to the Mass, right? At every Mass, Calvary is made present once again. The Paschal Mystery, we relive it, and that is very true. There's an anamnesis, right? A, re a remembrance, but it's more than that. You know, we're actually entering into, we're, 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 we're reliving these sacred moments. But even Holy Week and these liturgies are anamnetic, right? We, that, that they come to us and we, we participate, we relive them. So it's not just like, you know, we have photos of stuff we remember, milestone, milestone moments in our lives. Well, this is different than that. It's deeper than that. It's more special and profound than that. And so brothers and sisters, let's participate. Now, this is a really weird uh, Holy Week because we are quarantined. We're in our homes. We're not able to actually go to the church as we usually would and enter into these sacred liturgies. Okay, but you'll see uh, for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, there's a whole page on the website, lacatholics.org slash Holy Week that's dedicated to helping families live, celebrate, commemorate these sacred moments in the life of our Lord. So go check it out. Go to our Archdiocesan webpage, whatever diocese you're in, go. There's lots of resources online that are meant to help us take advantage of this Holy Week, especially as families. So for example, tomorrow's Palm Sunday, and you've probably seen on social media uh, a great idea, which is, well, okay, so we can't come to the church. We can't get our palms. Well, we can go. We have plenty of palm trees in California. We can go get a palm off a, off a palm tree. We can, you know, create a little bundle of palms or something like that, you know, a decorative thing. And if you can't get palms, go get any sort of branch or, or, or leaves or, you know, maybe you want to make one out of construction paper. I don't know. The point is, let's go. Let's a little can do, right? Get out there. Let's go get something. And then what we can do is place these palms that we gather on our front doors. You know, proclaim to the to the world, at least our neighbors, right, that we're rejoicing because Christ the Savior is coming. Just like an Ash Wednesday, right? We put ashes on our forehead to proclaim, you know, we are dust and to dust we shall return. We, are, we need a Savior? Well, with Palm Sunday, why not put our palms on our front doors and just say, yeah, we rejoice in that Savior. Jesus Christ has saved me from my sins. And that's what I'm reliving this week this Holy Week, and hopefully always. So the point is, as families, how can we, you know, do some liturgical living? How can we relive these moments as a family? Some people might, oh, they're just upset because, well, this is just a terrible time. We can't be at church. Well, I see it as an opportunity. It's an opportunity for the domestic church, which is what the family is, a little church, to be that, to be that, you know, environment of faith for the children, for husbands and wives, you know, the family to come together to unite in faith. We want to make the most of this Holy Week. We're celebrating what, in our gospel today, uh, uh, the evangelist John speaks about, which is, you know, Christ came to unite the scattered children of the earth. And so this is at the heart of it. We are God's children. He loves us. He's uniting us. Let's unite as we commemorate these most sacred mysteries. Mother Mary, please help us to be open and to be courageous in living out this Holy Week, especially in the faith.